Hi, Nathan Brown here, trying to do my best to keep you updated as February is American Heart Health Month. I've received enormous feedback and a lot of positive feedback from my uh, monthly blog, so thank you very much for, for following that. But I've received a lot of emails and a lot of phone calls from men because in my February blog I talk specifically about women's heart health because I think they're overlooked sometimes. Um, but the number one problem with men, at least the emails and telephone calls I've received, is this um, erectile dysfunction or ED. 50% uh, of men over the age of 40 report some degree of erectile dysfunction. And erectile dysfunction is really a sign or a symptom of endothelial dysfunction or an insufficient nitric oxide production. And I think this is a, really the first sign and symptom of nitric oxide deficiency. So these functional losses in the ability to produce nitric oxide, if not corrected, will lead to the structural changes that cause heart attack and strokes in 10 to sometimes 15 years. So it's very important that you pay attention uh, to these symptoms. It's not just a socially inconvenient and sometimes embarrassing condition. It's your body telling you that you get a systemic disease. So if you have endothelial dysfunction and insufficient nitric oxide production in the blood vessels of your sex organs in both men and women, uh, you have endothelial dysfunction and insufficient nitric oxide production in your coronary arteries and your cerebral arteries and really uh, all blood vessels throughout the body. So if you had these signs or symptoms, I think it's important to take steps now to improve your nitric oxide levels and employ the strategies that I talk about um, and really what we've learned over the past 20 years. So I hope this information is helpful. Thank you very much.